It's Friday, fool, and you need this tool. Welcome back to another glorious episode of It's Friday, Fool! You need this tool. My name is Kyle Voss, and on Fridays, I bring you a tool. A tool that is used here in this shop, or that I've featured on this channel. Man, it feels pretty good to be back in the saddle. You know what I'm saying? All right, so this week's tool is one of those things that I started using and didn't really, didn't really think about it too much. But the more I used it, the more I loved it, and over the, probably the last three months, it has become an essential part of my fabrication. What is that, you might ask? That is none other than these Hardy gloves. So, if you've been watching the channel over the last two, three months, you've seen me wearing these things in probably every single video. I love these things, these things are awesome. So these are just the stretchy mesh up top with the dipped rubber on the bottom. Nothing fancy. These things are super cheap. Matter of fact, they're so cheap that I've got uh, multiple pairs. I've even got brand new pairs in waiting. Now over the years I've used all kinds of gloves. I've used the rubber latex style gloves. I've used the thick gloves. And in my opinion, these are like the perfect in between. So. I usually buy these things a size small. So I, I think I usually wear like a large glove. I buy the mediums, I stretch them on my hands. And that way I've got good dexterity. I can basically take nuts and bolts out on and off. I can pick up, you know, I drop my uh, filler wire on the ground. Normal glove, you can't pick it up. These you can. So I've got some dexterity. I've got uh, a lot of stretchability in the tops of these. And so you, know, you can really kind of get those things fit on. They're not bulky. Um, these things are just awesome. I love them. The rubber on the bottom is durable enough that it saves my fingers all the time. You know, catching it with a grinder or uh, you know something hot, hot piece of filler wire or a hot piece of tungsten. You know, like I fumble the torch a little bit and I catch the tungsten, keeps me from burning my fingers. A lot of shavings and that sort of thing that would normally get in my fingers from uh, you know the hole saw. When I'm when I'm notching tubing or something like that, these uh, these save me from that. Not only that, they keep my hands buttery smooth. So like I said, this is one of those things I didn't think I'd be that excited about, but after using them for the last couple months, uh, I really I really couldn't do without them. I mean, as soon as oh, that's the wrong one. As soon as I get in the shop, I put these things on. They're on the entire time. I love them. They're just they're really really probably the greatest thing that I've, I've found here lately. There are a few issues with these. The main one is that the tops of these will not protect you in any way. So you can see I've got these little holes in there. Um, I've got some shavings on the top before and you can't get them out. They stick in there and then they're like prickling your hands. You just kind of throw the gloves away. You know, you hit the top of the grinder or any kind of heat, a spark, anything, it just melts a nice little hole in the top and so they kind of they kind of get bad after a while. But the good thing is, is that they're really, really cheap. You can get these things for just a few bucks on Amazon. Um, I think they've got them at Harbor Freight as well. But uh, Hardy Gloves, you need to go check them out. I'll drop a link in the description as I always do. If, you, if you're a glove guy, if you like to wear some kind of gloves in the shop, I really suggest you go try these out. These things are amazing, especially Especially on the fabrication side. I don't really know like on the automotive mechanic side. I've never really used them for that. But in the fabrication side, these things right here are the bomb. They also keep your hands warm. All right guys, there you go. This week's tool, the Hardy Gloves. Hand rubber dipped gloves. I don't know what they're called. Work gloves. Polyurethane coated 
nylon work gloves. There you go. That's what they are. I want to try to get to the 100 episode mark on the Friday full video, so I've got a couple more lined up for you. I know you guys have been asking for these to come back, so stay tuned for that. As always, thank you for joining me. I will see you guys some more next week. It's Friday, fool!